wonderful people. Today we're going to be looking into array collections again. This is the part two and let's jump in. So if we head over to the code here we're looking at the event entity and we already have this get is attending um, method and here it's returning a bool. So this is this is fine, but let's say we want to we want to get the actual user. We want to know uh, we want to get the information um, of, of this event participant, right? For whatever reason, maybe we have something else on that entity that we need to access that we can't access through the user. Let's create a new method and we'll call it get attending user. And this will return actually an event participant or null, like so. Um, if I add in that, okay. And now this will look extremely similar to the previous um, method, but it will just have one small difference, and it's this find first um, method that we're calling. And inside here, we're going to have a, a closure function. Um, which will accept um, the same as the other one. It will accept an int key first, and then it will also accept the event participant object, like so. Now inside here, it will actually return a bool because it needs to know if it should return it. Um, and then it's gonna be exactly the same as the previous um, method. So we'll get the target equal equal user which isn't actually defined, so we need to just add that in here, like so. So the idea is that you call this, pass in the user, and then it will return the event participant object uh, from the collection. So we need to go to our templates, event, create, and we need to find this dump here. So now we're not calling the user, so it actually won't work in here because we don't have an event. So we need to go down here and in here we can say event. Um, what was the name of the, the name is get attending user, like so, app user. So um, there's no auto completion here because we're using batch and it seems to mess up the auto completion. But, um, yeah, so we've got the event get attending user, which actually we could say just attending user and then pass in the user object. So let's actually just dump that out because um, at the moment, if we just do that, it wouldn't work. Okay, so if we head back over here and we can see, so there's null, null, null on most of them except on this one. Yep. Um, and it's correct because we know this is where the user is going. It's on the same object. And we can see we've got the event participant object being dumped and all the information therein. So let's say we want to get the users who have been added to this event um, in the last 24 hours. Uh, you can modify, let's say you wanted to get latecomers or people who've been um, added to the event you know, within the last five minutes, for example, just to see um, or, or to give them, you know, some thing, you know, maybe they maybe they get a, a latecomers badge or something, right? Or lastminute.com badge, something like that, right? Um, which would actually be a really cool idea. But anyway, um, let's, let's create a new method um, and we're going to be having a look at how we can use uh, matching using doctrine array collections. And these are probably the most powerful um, things that we'll be dealing with because they are amazing, or it is amazing rather. So uh, what we're gonna say is get um, participants added in the last 24 hours. Um, and this will return an array collection. Okay, so um, we have to create a criteria um, variable and here we're going to say criteria create like so 
Um, and we'll also create an expression, uh, which again is criteria expression like so. Um, and now we need now. Um, we actually, do I have carbon? No. Okay, so um, I'm going to add in carbon, um, which is, uh, if you don't know what it is, there's another video which goes into details of how to use carbon and what it is and why it's really useful in Symfony. Um, so we'll just install that quickly, like so, and we're done. So uh, now we can say carbon immutable, new carbon immutable, like that, because we'll need the time um, to be able to make the comparison, right? So now we can actually do the expression. Uh, so we can say criteria and where. This is looking very familiar, I think, or at least it should be. Um, and we can say expression is greater than um, created at, and then we can pass in now, but we need to minus 24 hours like so. Um, interesting, the, whatever. And then we can return this event participants and matching and criteria like so. Um, seems my PHP storm is broken for some reason. <laughs> right, so now that should give us the users that have been added to an event within the last 24 hours. So we can, actually I'm gonna copy this because we'll need it. So let's go to the stump statement and instead of the attending user, we say participants added in the last 24 hours like so. Okay, so we head over to the browser, refresh, and there we go. We have only one that's been added in the last 24 hours, um, which is going to Sarah and John's wedding. Um, just to double check, if we click on John's birthday, we can see that there are other users that have been added, but they're not, uh, they've not been added within the, the last 24 hours. So this is really, really cool. I mean, you can do some really powerful things um, with you know relatively small um, piece of code and there we are this is how we can use matching and find first in Symphony 7 if you enjoyed this video be sure to check out my book use the QR code to find it have a good day